Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we are looking at something that has to do with the question. Most people have actually seen the Vetus coloring thingy in several 3D app and you probably will be wondering how can you achieve this in Blender 2.83 since this is not something that seems to be coming in anytime soon. Of course, we did see this being teased in, you know, alpha versions of Blender 2.9 and also 2.91 when Pablo went ahead to talk about these things. But now that seems not to be a feature that is coming with any of these aforementioned versions. So the thing here is this has always existed and for anyone who wants to work with this it is very simple to actually achieve so what we're going to do is select an object that we have here so depending on what you have if you're already sculpting of course you can still do that with your sculpt then you need to go over to your object properties section and within there if you scroll all the way up you would notice that you have the vetus colors now simply click on the plus button and that way you've already created some sort of layer now depending on how many colors you want to paint you can click more 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 and click on the plus button to get more or you can simply click on the minus button to take them out now once you're done with that click on the object that you want click on this tiny button which is the drop down and change this from material to vertex now once you do that you can also switch over to the object mode and switch that from object mode to vertex paint now once you're done with that vertex paint you know you've switched to this select any color that you want and paint any of these colors across so for this we're just going to go ahead and paint some lovely looking simple colors so let's just get that one there probably what we're going to do is just a rainbow color looking orb so we can you know use that as a means of light or something depending on what we're going to achieve at the end of the day so we can do this and let's just finish up with this color so we put the yellow right there and finally i think we should just go with some fuchsia looking color like so so we're just going to make that one there now with this done i would switch back to the objects mode click on the objects control and five to you know subdivide right click change this to smooth shade and now your question is how do you render this rendering this is very simple switch over to your rendering tab and you notice that ev doesn't see it the reason why ev doesn't see it is i don't know ev just doesn't see it so you have to switch this to cycles all right let's also switch this to gpu so that we can get something faster now if you switch this to cycles there's also the same thing that you cannot even see it now we can also go ahead and change this from timeline to shader editor so what are we going to do what we are going to do now is going to be very very simple tap shift and a on your keyboard click right here and search for the word vertex so once you get the vertex color you can drop that here and now you can wire this color over to the base and that is how you get your vertex color to be rendered now you notice that once we wire this we get to see that render but if you have multiple vertex colors like so let's say we click here and we have one more if you want the next one to be the one that should be rendered you need to make sure that you have that selected so quickly let's take a look and see how you can paint multiple vertex colors so what you can do is select the object then switch back to the vertex color and in this case i would suggest that you paint everything back to white in our case we already have a subdivision modifier so it's just best to turn up the subdivision modifier but in most cases if you don't have things like that you can just go ahead and paint it to white now once you're done painting it to white what we want to do for this particular one is just play with two different colors so i'm just going to stick to blue and another different color so once we're done with that we would come back and then make sure that we tie this to the base color and from there we can choose what color we want to see in the render so at this point you can now make multiple copies and you can now switch from one vertex color to the other so i can select this other one and switch this vertex color to this and of course you can see what we have and i can switch back to this other one and change the vertex color from the vertex color 0 to vertex color 0 0.01 now it's even more interesting when you have this and you want to now make you know some shiny stuff out of this so you can now connect this over to your emissions so with that connected to the emissions let's take this out from the base color since we no longer need that and i'm also going to select this object and move this object a bit upwards so for those that are asking how can you you know work with the vertex color now that it's no longer available with those versions this is how you can do it so with this you can now easily create your own vertex color and then you can do whatever you want get the light out 
and then we have this going you can still choose to mix match and do some very crazy looking things with this and if you're using 2.91 you would actually have the option of using the emission slider to increase the emission itself so depending on what you want to do you can have fun working with this if you are thinking about changing the coloration of course you can still use a very wonderful you know hue and saturation node so let's get the hue and saturation you know you can plug that hue and saturation node right there and you can make some mixing and make some different matching and get some very desirable results from this so this is definitely going to be about it so if you're into creating animations or maybe you're just someone that loves rendering and you're wondering how you can take advantage of the vertex rendering feature this is it and this is how you can get good with it and for sure if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace